okay and we are in business so let us read the bhashya here where we have just uh, where we are mm. bahu prabhutam syam bhaveya bhaveyam so we saw yesterday one portion of this so called becoming many which is called bahu bhavanam bahu bhavanam becoming many and so how is something becoming many something is becoming many uh, either because there is one one big thing and then it is cut into many many parts like a banana shared between five six people <laughs> it is cut into many parts and given that is one way of becoming many and another way of becoming many is that it has a baby it reproduces this is what we see in the jagat it reproduces and so these both these ways of becoming many are not available for brahman why because there is a there is that arthantara apeksha apeksha expectancy uh, some kind of a dependency on what another thing artha thing here artha is not uh, what is that uh, purusha artha artha kama don't go there the here it means artha like indri artha artha means uh, objects objects things vastu so these vastus and uh, so without another depending on another thing we don't see in the universe one thing becoming many even in the case of bananas sliced you need knife you need what we heard this morning uh, in the mundaka upanishad sahakari karanam uh, so even for pot, a clay to become pot it's not that it's automatically becoming pot we need intelligent cause nimitta karana somebody to decide how how big the pot should be what shape etc what is its purpose depending on the purpose the size and everything is decided then uh, it's not enough to have the intelligent cause you need the clay the material upadana then after that you need some sahakari karanam like what potter's wheel and the stick with which the wheel is operated if it's not electric and then you need fire kiln the the place where the pot is baked right and so all these things are there this is what is called arthantara apeksha dependence on various various things without those things there is no bahu bhavanam so in the second instance of the parents giving birth to a child there also there is a reproduction or a multiplication there also this arthantara apeksha is there so many things are involved first of all the parents how did they get here they had parents <laughs> their parents had parents their parents 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 had parents 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 and so like this this is a whole uh, genealogical arthantara apeksha so there is uh, so for one body to be here so many bodies should have been here in time immemorial so for brahman both of these things do not apply we saw that the question is why do they not apply first of all it is not made up of parts so it cannot be cut up into parts <laughs> only if there are parts it can be cut up and it is achedyo ayam adakyo yam akledya ashoshya eva we saw it where tatva bodha tatva bodha bhagavad gita Which chapter? Second chapter. Abba. Since we have just start, started the third chapter, <laughs> I'm glad nobody said third chapter. So akledya, I am. This is not subject to be cut. This is not subject to be burnt. This cannot be destroyed. This cannot be made many in the sense of banana cutting. In the sense of putrot pati. where there is a sense of mine i have you know there is there has to be a kind see if somebody has a baby you can't just say i am akarta bhokta bring yourself up that is not going to work <laughs> baby needs love care food 
all these things it needs to be kept warm it needs to be, it will be crying all the time it has to be ta taken care of so therefore it is not something that can be just left like that that means in order to care for the baby what is it that's needed on part of the parents this belongs to me a certain mindness is needed because otherwise how will the child you know how will the child be owned so if you want to have a baby that that mindness should be there even for uh, uh, yashoda it was there <laughs> So this is this is how it was. This is how the children uh, grow up. So here, so Brahman doesn't have that thing of this is mine because there's nothing other than it. So it cannot say this is mine. So it's not like putra utpatti, putrotpatti. We saw these two things yesterday, like producing even a baby, a child. Okay. So then, uh, what happened to the bhashya? Okay, here. So then, uh, so then we saw the only way of this bahu bhavanam or this becoming quote unquote becoming many is it can only be in one form. What is that one form? Atmastha. It is just itself alone, nothing other than itself. Atmastha, atmastha. And then what about the jagat? The jagat is a projection of that very Atma, Brahmatma. That is Bahu Bhavanam. Just like the example which we gave yesterday in dream. So then, what is this Jagat? It is always there. What? I thought it is never there. <laughs> what do you mean by it is always there? It is always there. How is it always there? It is always there as Sat, Chit. Ananda. That's how the sixth chapter of the Chandogya Upanishad begins. Sade vasomya idamagre asit ekameva dvitiyam. This idam, what is this idam? Idam is not Brahma, that is others. <laughs> Far away. You don't refer to the, the pronoun this. You refer to the pronoun this for things that you can objectify, things which are near to you. Brahman is always tat. Or if you use another pronoun, idam and adas. That. That adas becomes adaha. Where have we heard the word adaha? Purnam adaha. Even though when we chant, we say purna. Madaha, it is not Madaha, it is Adaha. That is Purnam. That is all. What is that? The Brahman. And that which has as though emerged from that Brahman, this Idam. Idam is what? Ardham. Half. No. What is this? Purnam. Yes. That is Purnam. <laughs> This cannot be Ardham. This is also Purnam. So there is the, the effect is non-separate from the cause. This is the only kind of Bahu Bhavanam that is possible. And so when the Chandogya Upanishad says, Sadeva Somya Idam Asit, it is not referring to Brahman. What is it referring to? Jagat. Jagat was there. Even before all this came into being, Jagat was there as Sat. Meaning, unmanifest, Avyakrita. And then, manifest Vyakrita. Then, Avyakrita, Vyakrita. This we don't have a problem. This is not, uh, you know, assimilating because this is not even against logic. Otherwise, you know, you, you just sort of certain, uh, certain, uh, what is that? Cosm uh, creation cosmologies challenge the logic. Challenge the logic. And if we say that, uh, you know, so many things are there, like you can't just sort of say like that, uh, that uh, something has come out of something and all these things, you know. Shastra Pramana, yes. But the Shastra Pramana can be helped with yukti. Yukti means logic. What kind of yukti? That is anukula 
to the Shruti. Anukula means goes along with the Shruti. Shruti Anukula Yukti. That is the kind of logic we don't mind deploying because we have to assimilate this. So then, uh, so then this is this is the only way the Bahu Bhavanam has taken place. We saw that yesterday. Uh, so Apravi Bhakta Deshakale uh, Sarvasu uh, Sarvavasthasu Vyakriyate Apravi Bhakta Bhaj to divide Bhakta divided. Pra plus V plus Bhakta nicely divided and then you cancel all of that. You put a, a in front of it, not nicely, never ever divided. <laughs> what is not divided? Desha Kala, that is also Brahma. Because we think of things in space. There is no in space because space is what? Brahma. Time is what? Brahma. So usually the separating factor between one thing and the other is what? Time or space. But here there is no, the time and space cannot be separating factors because it is all Brahman alone. This is very beautiful here. So, uh, uh, so then uh, yada atmasthe anabhivyakte nama rupe vyakriyate tada nama rupe atmasvarupa aparityage neva sarvasu avasthasu apravibhakta deshakale vyakriyate. Meaning, Atma Swarupa Aparityagena Eva. So, two things we have to understand about the so called creation cosmology and its connection to Brahman, Atma, Brahmatma. So, first thing is that uh, is what we already talked about unmanifest, demanifest, manifest, that's all. So, some, just because something is unmanifest, that does not mean it is non existent. This we have to bend our minds on because sometimes what happens, there is a sudden drought and then water level goes down in some river or pond. We have seen this happen many times. And then suddenly one temple is unearthed, which had gone under water. Was the temple non-existent and suddenly came into existence? No, like in Mamallapuram, that's what has happened. All the temples, they were all under the sea and then suddenly the sea floor went that way and then revealing all these temples. And so all the temples have just been, the, the Gopurams, the Shikha, what is Shikha in English? Um, towers, the temple towers uh, are all uh, nicely smoothed out as though somebody has taken some sandpaper and smoothed them out because they have the, the sea waves have smoothed them out. So if you go there, you can see, it's beautiful. But then it was underwater for many, 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 many decades. And then suddenly because the sea moved back and the sea floor moved away and then suddenly they are now there. You can go inside, you can see there is Ganesha, there is Shiva, etc. All of them are suddenly come into view. So we cannot see them as new temples. We cannot say they suddenly came. They did not suddenly come. They were unmanifest under water and then now the water has gone manifest that's the only way that this bahu bhavanam can take place and the second aspect of this bahu bhavanam or this become quote unquote becoming many of brahman is that in the process of becoming many it does not lose anything Swa swarupa aparityaga Parityaga give up its form in order to become the Jagat because how else can it enter? You give up the form. You give up your own form and then enter into something else and become that thing. For example, in a dysfunctional relationship, one person acts just like the other <laughs> because they, they, they are not strong enough and the strong person, uh, you know, somehow they are influenced by the strong person whether it's parent, child or husband, wife or whatever it is, this is what happens. The strong person has very specific ideas of what they are going to do, how they are going to be, what's going to happen and my way or the highway. This is how they say. And the, all the other people in the family, they go along with it because they, don't, they feel like they don't have a choice. So you see, 
they have swarupa swarupa parityaga has taken place they are not being authentically themselves because they want to they want to please this person who is very difficult or who is very dominant or toxic whatever it is so they are frightened of this person and they are going along and then what have they done their own goals ambitions dreams desires parityaga has taken place because there is no room but brahman doesn't do that because there is no uh, dysfunctionality in brahman it simply lends its presence sat Da, this is something we have to memorize. There is no um, translation even. Presence, spurti. Spurti means it's the, the 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 very life in something is called spurti. That which animates because of that. Like for example, in a uh, in a battery operated toy, toy car, battery operated. So you turn it on and it goes in circles. Let's say. So what is that battery? It is giving spurti to the car, which is inanimate. But when the battery is put, it runs, literally. So what is the cause of the running? Not the car, not the wheels, not everything. Not any of the things in the toy car. What is the, why is it running? Because of the battery. So B for battery, B for Brahman. <laughs> this is how to, this is how to understand this. This is the only way to assimilate this. So these two ways, if, if this much is understood, we can go further. Tada! Tannama Rupa Vyakaranam Brahmano Bahubhavanam He sums up that part. Tada! Now, Tan nama rupa vyakaranam. Vyakaranam here is not Ramah, Ramau, Ramaha. It's not grammar. Vyakaranam, I told you why it is called Vyakaranam. Because it is made into various things, many, many things. And so various uh, uh, forms. So the, the, uh, the, the, cha the, the so-called change or the manifestation of Brahman into various names and forms is what is being talked about. So this Nama Rupa Vyakaranam is, is called Bahu Bhavanam, is called the many making or many becoming. And then this next sentence is important. Na Anyatha. Niravaya Vasya Brahmanaha Bahutva Apatihi Upapadhyate Alpatvam Va Very nice. So, Na Anyatha, otherwise, Anyatha, otherwise, for this, first let's translate, for this Brahman, Nira, for Brahmana, sixth case, for this Brahman, what kind of Brahman? Partless Brahman, Niravayava, Avayava means parts, limbs. Niravayava, limbless, partless Brahman, Bahutva Apattihi, Alpatva Apattihi Va, Na upapadyate. Bahutva apatti means becoming many. So something cannot become many if it does not have parts. There are no parts. How can it become many? It cannot become many. And then can it become small? Alpatvam. Alpatvam means it can become small Brahman. No. Because it, it, it is unchanging. Avyaya, Navyeti, does not change, does not decline. Avyaya. Even in uh, Vyakarana, in Sanskrit grammar also, we have certain things that do not decline. What are they called? Indeclinables. <laughs> like cha, tu, ha, vai, he. You know? So, as you, so you, can, you cannot say cha, chau, chaha. You know, ramaha, ramaha, chaha, chau, chaha. Chaha, you cannot say like that. 
it does not it does not have any forms thank god <laughs> thank god already sanskrit is otherwise challenging enough and so it doesn't have all these <laughs> it doesn't have all these forms and so they are they are in sanskritam called what avya avyaya indeclinable here also brahman is what avyaya niravayava so nira avayava niravayava if you say 10 times you get a present because it's a tongue twister okay very difficult to say but don't confuse it with avyaya avyaya indeclinable avayava parts niravayava devoid of parts so there is no question of brahman becoming big or becoming small why because it is avyaya no you don't say partless you say it is unchanging ha ah, it is unchanging and for this brahman which is partless bahu bhavanam in this particular way that we know uh, is not possible anyatha anyatha means what other than the manner in which we have seen it and what is the manner we have seen it vyakaranam avyakaranam manifest be manifest same thing the jagat is there and then it is there as brahman and now it is also there as brahman but as though differentiated with the as though underlined bold italic everything you know <laughs> you, you you have to really bring out this as though that's what we saw this morning how nicely the two upanishads are <laughs> dovetailing one another so as though cause gives what as though jagat <laughs> yeah that is how it is here and so so therefore and he gives one very either here or somewhere else i saw one very good example he gives um yeah so one more thing we have to see uh ya naam rupe kim tarhi where are we tad naam rupa vyakaranam anyatha ani ya alpatvam va oh right here he gives the example yatha aakashasya alpatvam bahutvam cha vastu antara kritam eva this is called this is an example of what is called viparita drishtanta drishtanta example so one is a drishtanta that is anukula drishtanta it goes along you know it says it's, it's like for example if uh, uh, shakespeare says you know uh, shall i compare thee to a summer's day meaning you he writes in one sonnet shall i compare thee to a summer's day meaning you are as beautiful as a summer's day bright sunny and wonderful that is how you are this is a this is a like 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 drishtanta but viparita drishtanta is unlike unlike this so supposing you say my the neighborhood i live in is very safe unlike this other neighborhood you see that's called viparita drishtanta so here by certain accounts adi shankaras um is a viparita drishtanta and we'll see why he gives the example of akasha what is akasha space okay and so now where is this space everywhere but then we call it room space room space lecture hall space sankirtan hall space dining hall space temple space samadhi mandir space head space and it's lunch time stomach space we have cut up sp space into many many things and it is uh, loke in drishtam it is seen in the world and it is accepted get out of my space i have paid for this space <laughs> get out of my space i have paid for this space and then so uh, so therefore what this is not this is not your space 
This is my space. Why are you in my space? Get out of that space. And so like this, we have, and then I am paying rent. So this space is my space. So this much rent I'm paying, and especially in places, very uh, big places like uh, uh, New York, San Francisco, all these places. Why, why go so far? Mumbai, if you go, you know, you can't even own the, the size of land as much as a postage stamp. Even that is so costly. <laughs> it will take away your life savings and, and more. And so like this in any big metro, it's like that. So space is cut up, space is commodified and space is made into made privatized and space is made uh, given names and and various things so unlike that brahman does not now we can say big space small space hall space room space bathroom space closet space small space big big hall space like this temple space we can say but unlike that brahman is not big not small not cut up not at all like that. One, uh, one way we can take this to be. Okay, this is what is called Viparita Drishtanta. Why? Because the Akasha example is used in the opposite sense. But then we have a, uh, let me see if I can find that. Uh, maybe I won't be able to find it. But then we have somebody called Tikakara. Tikakara means Tika is a kind of a uh, what is that called? Commentary. Short notes. Footnotes on the Bhashya is called Tika. And so when we say Bhashyakara, who is that? Shankara. Yeah. And Vartikakara, his student Sureshwara. And then, then Sutrakara, Vyasa. Okay. Tikakara, Anandagiri. One, one sage called Anandagiri. There are tikas and tikas and tikas, but his tika is the best tika. And don't confuse it for vaccination because in India, vaccination is also called tika. <laughs> okay, that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> this, is, this is not tika. Okay, this is not that tika. This is a commentary and I'm trying to find it. I just now read it. Uh, and uh, of course, I have put it some, somewhere else. I'm not able to find it. Uh, but there, uh, there, the Tikakara says, uh, he actually argues that it is not a Viparita Drishtanta. It is, it is not a, uh, a it is not a, uh, it is not an opposite example. How is it not an opposite example? Well, because we can argue this way. How can we argue? We can say, like Brahman. Up till now, what was it? Unlike Brahman. Now it is, we, we can say, like Brahman, space also is all pervasive. Space also is avyaya, unchanging. Space also is niravayava, without parts, limbs. And for this space, look at what we have done. Look at the outrage. We call the, we have cut up this space into room space, hall space, closet space, cupboard space, big space, small space. And the same thing we want to do to Brahman. So, Pikakara takes it as a Samadrishtanta, not Viparita Drishtanta. But nonetheless, it's a very nice um, example here. So, the, the, the example is the, uh, uh, so the example is, is that, that just like, whatever it is, just like or unlike space, Brahman cannot be cut up into various parts. There is not a, there is, there is not a different, uh, there, is, there, there, there is no uh, different Brahman, small Brahman, big Brahman is not there at all. So there is only one way this can happen. Uh, uh, how, how can this happen? This can only happen from uh, Brahman being the cause. Again, what kind of cause? As though, <laughs> as though cause. Causality is superimposed upon this Brahman free of causality. 
Why? So that this jagat can can have, you know, the jagat doesn't become anatha, orphan. <laughs> so, so because the jagat has to have some, jagat is there for whom? For the person studying this section. For the person studying this section. I have heard that sometimes this section is not taught at all in extreme Vedanta. They was like, what's the point of this? We just read the last two lines that everything is Brahman finished. Why give the Jagat the time of day and simply uh, give it a reality that it simply does not have? So many Acharyas, the extreme Vedantins, they'll just gloss over this quickly, quickly. Yeah, what is the point in giving it so much time? But for us, it is important because in the head um, lurk a lot of impossible conclusions which are very well entrenched and they have to be ousted. And so by talking about it, they are being ousted. So, the, so we cannot even say Brahman is cause, that we have to add that little appendage. What is that? As though, <laughs> really. <laughs> Even if you forget Sanskritam in these six months, even if you forget the word Brahman, we will make sure that you will not forget the words as though. Absolutely. This as though is unforgettable. As though. And so this, this causality, if Brahman is the cause, then it will be stuck, the, the word cause will be stuck to Brahman. It is always the cause, it's not always the cause. Where is it always the cause? What about in between cycles of creation? There is no cause. There is no effect. What is there? Nothing is there. And so the causality is as though attributed to Brahman because of Maya Shakti. And so Maya Shakti gives Brahman a crown. What is that crown? Cause. Jagat Karanam, king of the universe. Jiva also gets a, gets a crown, a dunce cap, fool's cap, <laughs> sit in the corner of the class, Ajnanam, <laughs> that is the cap, <laughs> also made by Maya Shakti. And so this is the, so there is a, the ca causality is as it were attributed to Brahman and in operating under this attributed causality, we can say things have come, Akasha has come. As though, yeah, it's all as though, as though. Akasha came, there is a certain order. Even the Mundaka Upanishad will talk about this order. And here also, the, we, we saw the order earlier. Akasha, Vayu, etc. Like from the subtlest to the grossest. Same order is replicated in Tattva Bodha. So we know that the author of the Tattva Bodha studied Taitriya Upanishad. Of this we can be very, very sure. Very, very sure. And so this is the, uh, so this is the, uh, this is how the, uh, the whole thing has come. So the cause effect relationship now so much is established. The cause effect relationship is as though established between what? Brahman and Jagat. Okay. But what kind of uh, cause effect it is? It is the, it is the cause effect in the sense that it's a very unfair connection because effect is cause, cause is not effect. That is how it is. And we keep seeing, saying, saying this in, in the way, uh, after giving the example of the actor who had to play the role of the beggar in one play or in one film. Even as he is crying, please give me food, please give me clothes. What is happening? His bank balance is growing. <laughs> he is not getting impoverished. And he knows the shoot will end in two hours. I can go home. I can just have a nice shower, wash off all this makeup of the beggar and then go to my house, to my family and enjoy my big house. And this is what he knows, that inner space makes him uh, makes him very uniquely positioned to play this role in a very interesting way. Like for example, if the beggar's being is separate, is, is non-separate from the actor. The thoughts of the beggar, thoughts of the actor. Voice of the beggar, 
voice of the actor. The footsteps and the gait of the beggar, gait of the actor. In fact, the whole beggar is nothing but the actor, but is the actor beggar? Never. <laughs> so therefore, beggar B is A, but A is never B. A is never B. And so therefore, this, this cause effect is a one-sided, one-way relationship always. You see anything in the universe, it's like that. Pot is clay. We can't reverse it and say clay is pot. No, clay is not pot. And then fabric is shirt. In fact, you cannot imagine a shirt without some kind of fabric. Even if you say I made the shirt out of nylon, plastic, newspaper, anything. You make a shirt, <laughs> but still you need something. That fabric is that, uh, you know, so, fa the, so the, uh, the shirt is what? Nothing but fabric. Can you say fabric is shirt? No. If fabric were to be shirt, then yatra yatra fabric, shirt should spring up. Correct? That doesn't happen. Your dhoti doesn't shirt, turn into shirt. Sari doesn't turn into shirt <laughs> because it's fabric. And so therefore, this is, this is how everything is. Everything is Brahman, non-separate from Brahman. Karya, you know, Karana Rupena Vartate. The, the Karya is non-separate uh, from Karana, but Karana is not Karya, can never, ever, ever be Karya. And this is how it is. And in the ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, we'll see this very nicely. He, he says, Lord Krishna says, Matsthani Sarva Bhutani. All beings have their being in me. Nacha aham teshu avasthitaha. I am not in any one of them. Then he changes his mind about that also. Nacha matsthani bhutani pasyame yoga maishwaram. I am not, you know, they are not in me because if they were in me, then we have duality. Ashraya. That, that which is the locus and ashrita, that which is located. What kind of a oneness is it? I am located in Bhagavan. This is not the meaning of tattvamasi. I am located in Bhagavan means any day Bhagavan will kick you out, give you eviction notice. Where will you go? And so again you have to study. What, what is the use of that study which you, which you uh, at the end of which you get kicked out of Bhagavan also? already kicked about in the Jagat, is that not enough? Now you get kicked out of Bhagavan also. That is not the vision. So he says, Nacha Matsthani Bhutani, nothing is in me. Pasya me yogam Aishwaram, look at my magic. This is my magic. And then he clarifies, Bhuta Bhrit Nacha Bhuta Stha. Bhuta Brit. Brit means Sattas Purti Pradhanena by lending my presence without uh, undergoing any change and by lending my sentience again without undergoing any change, I support everything as though without becoming any one of them or without sitting inside them. So when we talk of Nama Rupa, you know, the what is that? Uh, baby talk Vedanta, you know, baby is how they talk, goo goo gaga. So, baby talk Vedanta would be <laughs> Brahman, uh, Nama Rupa plus Brahman has entered. It's okay, you know, because you have to start somewhere. But when you grow up, the talk also changes. And what, what is the talk now? It was never separate from Brahman, it is always Brahman. Anything that you see, anything that you point to, anything that you can objectify, Brahman. But Brahman is not it. That is what we have to say. It is definitely Brahman. Just like the beggar is actor, actor is not beggar. That is the only thing we need to remember here. A is B. Oh yeah, B is A, A is not B. That is what we have to see. And so this way, so the, the whole thing, it sets, it's as though Brahman 
animating the Nama Rupas has set forth a whole chain, an endless chain of causality. Cause effect, cause effect, cause effect, cause effect, tree seed, tree seed, tree seed, tree seed, which this endless chain of causality either takes you to an infinite regression, like tree and seed. Where did this come from? Oh, that tree. Okay, where did that tree come from? Seed. Where did that tree seed come from? Another tree. Where did that another uh, tree, seed uh, tree come from? Another seed. Here we are in an infinite regress. Or it takes you back to Brahman. If one has the Shraddha, if one has the Bhakti, if one wants to go there. Like for example, you say, well, what is the truth of pot? Clay. And then where is the what is the truth of clay then you can think molecules particles and then you 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 get into the place of what is called quantum physics very exciting where the observer is affecting the experiment this is actually very fascinating so that's why it can you can never say whether it's a wave or a particle you ask it, are you a wave? It says yes and waves back. That's why I'm a wave, see? <laughs> and then you say, no, 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 you must be a particle. It becomes a particle, so to speak. It behaves like a particle. That means what? I am affecting the experiment means the observer and observed are one and the same. So you either go back to Brahman or you spin in an infinite regress, especially when we talk about the so-called creation, which is really a manifestation of this Brahman uh, with the uh, as though causality and attributed causality, which is, uh, uh, you know, which is, uh, 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 we, what kind of a causality is it where the effect is non-separate from the cause but the cause never the effect and if this much is understood we can go further even if it's not understood we are going to go <laughs> further <laughs> okay so then um, so then this is the um, Let's see. So, Swarupa Aparityagena, we have covered that. Anavibha Bhaktam, and uh, this one also we have covered. And then uh, let's see what else. Nama Rupe Abhibhakta Apravibhakta Deshakale. Yeah, even the, you cannot also, yeah, the last thing is it is undivided. Undivided means. Nor, you know, space and time are not the divisive components. Why? Because space is Brahman, time is Brahman. Apravibhakta desha kala. So desha kala, you know, who, what is that? This is an adjective to Nama Rupa. What kind of a Nama Rupa? A Nama Rupa not separate from time and space, not separate from Brahman. That kind of a Nama Rupa. And the, then the, the, this is the, uh, and then we can add stages to it. We can say Akasha, Vayu, Agni. That is an order. That's okay. That, that's an order. But still, even there, there is a cause effect. Akasha is the cause of Vayu. Vayu is the cause of Agni. Again, this endless chain of cause effects. And these cause effects are all called Vikaras. They're all called Vikaras. And then, uh, then uh, Nama Rupa, where are we in the Bhashya? One second. Uh, Aprave Bhakta Desh Vyakriyate. Tada, Tatu, Nama Rupa Vyakaranam Brahmano Bahubhavanam Na Anyatha Niravayavasya Brahmanaha Bahutva Apatihi Upapadyate Alpatvamva. And we saw that Akasha example. Ataha Tadvat Tad Dwarena Eva. Atma Bahu Bhavati. You see how he interchangeably uses the word Brahman and Atma? Hmm. Purposely, yeah. Because he wants to make that Sakshatkara, that, that knowledge has to be oneself alone. So Brahman means you look somewhere and Atma means, oh, <laughs> hello, it's me. <laughs> and uh, so, then a very important part is going to come here in 83. Nahi Atmanaha 
अन्यद अनात्मभूतम तत् प्रविभक्त देशकालम सूक्ष्मम व्यवहितम विप्रकृष्टम भूतम भवत भविष्य द्वा वस्तु विद्यते बिग बिग वर्ड्स एंड नॉट ओनली बिग वर्ड्स लॉट्स ऑफ वर्ड्स ओके सो वील ट्राई टू कवर दैट सो नाउ वी सॉ एवरी नाम रूपा इज नॉट अवे फ्रॉम द वस्तु विच इज ब्रह्मन एंड दैट्स वाई दी वॉट इज दैट कॉल्ड दैट्स वाई दिस इज दी दैट्स वाई द टीचिंग इज पॉसिबल दैट्स वाई तत्वमसी इज पॉसिबल अदरवाइज हाउ कैन यू डू तत्वमसी यू कैन डू तत्वमसी एट ऑल एंड सो देन सो देर फोर डिड यू गेट द इंग्लिश भाषा वेर वी आर स्टडिंग no i am asking them you got that yeah okay so just i am asking them that's all so um, so now this is the, uh, the this this part with with all these words now we will we'll see the meaning uh, and then we will go further okay so bahu bhavanam uh, means here uh, how to tad e tad ahaver are we i am not getting the bhashya again i keep losing it न अन्यथा निरवयव से वी फिनिश दट तद या सूक्ष्म ऑल दैट या सो दी दि अपियरेन्स द अपेरेंट प्रोसेस सो टू स्पीक ऑफ ब्रह्मन कोट एंड कोट बिकमिंग मेनी इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन एनी अदर वे वाई बिकॉज ब्रह्मन इज सटिल सुसूक्ष्म and then vyavahitam vyavahitam means separate viprakrishtam remote viprakrishtam uh, bhutam uh, when is it viprakrishtam uh, always in the past in the present and in the bhavishyatva in the future so no such thing away from brahman can ever said to be existent e- either in the past or in the present or in the future because nothing is away from brahman that's all he is wanting to say nothing is away from brahman because there is nothing that is away from brahman whether it is subtle or gross whether it is uh, separate or remote very far away or very near no in the past maybe it was separate no maybe it will be separate in the future like sometimes you know what happens in the uh, uh, in the um, what is that called like you know some islands break off from the mainland and become an island before it was one and then now a piece of land because of earthquakes and all broke off and then it started to float and then it became an island or water came and divided two pieces uh, made the same uh, country into two pieces of land that cannot happen so susukshmam uh, extremely subtle because it is extremely subtle extremely subtle it is Uh, can never away from be never away from brahman because the the the, uh, the no, no such thing exists which is subtle which is separate which is disconnected etc there is no such thing called anatma nothing is remote from brahman nothing is uh, remote ever at any time from brahman and so then all the names and forms have their being because of this one sentient conscious existent endless entity called brahman in fact the word vastu is reserved only for brahman vastu means thing all other things are what no things nothing <laughs> that's why when sanat kumara uh, quizzes narada in the 7th chapter of the chandogya upanishad he tells us what do you know and just like our list of aparavidya uh, 
What was the list? Of Aparavidya, Rigveda, Yajurveda, Shiksha, Kalpo, Vyakaranam, Niruktam, Chandas, Jyotisham, Iti. And then uh, this one adds the other 18, other, the 18 things. Four Upavedas and then four other uh, affiliated, you know, Tarka, Nyaya, Artha Shastra, all these things he add, adds. And then uh, Sanat Kumar looks at him and he says, Narada, you know so much. So much of nothing, <laughs> so much of nothing, because the one thing because of which all these things exist, you have no clue. That is why you are under water, means under sorrow. That is why you are under sorrow. And here too, this straight away, this uh, Bhashakara makes this statement. And what is the statement he makes? He says that uh, there is nothing the, uh, which is non-self in the past, in the present, in the future. There is nothing other than Brahman. There is nothing separated from it by time. There is nothing separated from it by space. There is nothing subtler than Brahman. There is nothing away from Brahman. There is nothing cut off from Brahman. And so, Ataha, he concludes, Nama Rupe, all the names and forms, Sarva Vasthe, in all periods of time, Brahma, uh, Brahmana Eva Atmavati. Atmavati? Where did this lady come from? Called Atmavati? Long E? <laughs> Here I was struggling to find out uh, how Brahma, the word Brahman is being uh, replaced by Atma. Now I have to deal with this Atmavati. <laughs> Atmavati. Dual. It goes along with Nama Rupe. Mm. Atmavat, like Jagat. Jagat, Jagati, Jaganti. This is how Jagat declines. So, Atmavat, neuter. Okay. Then, Atmavati, dual. All right. And it is an adjective to Nama Rupe. But it, that there it is A. <laughs> That's because it is Akaranta, like Phalam, Phale, Nama Rupe. But here it is, it is what? Uh, uh, yeah, Atma, uh, Atmavat is Takaranta. And then Takaranta, Napunsakalinga, Neuter, Dual. Atmavati, it is qualifying what? Nama Rupe. All right. And so, uh, Ataha, Nama Rupe, the name and form, Sarva Vasthe, in all periods of time, Brahmana Eva, in the form of Brahman alone, Atmavati, means their Atma, their truth. Here, Atmavati is not Atma the self, their, uh, their truth is because of Brahman alone, their very being is because of Brahman alone. Na Brahma Tadatmakam. Brahman is not, they are not giving Brahman any kind of being. Brahman is giving them being. And, and so they are not giving Brahman any kind of being. Te tat pratyakhyane nastaha eva iti tadatmake uchyate tabhyamcha. Oh, this is a very long sentence. We'll have to uh, leave it for next time uh, because it goes on and on. So then, uh, uh, so it's only because of Brahman that all names and forms in any situation have their being. But Brahman does not exist in any of them because the existence of Brahman has nothing to do with the name and form. You can't say cause, you can't say effect, it's all as though, as though, as though. So they are just, we can say all of them are Brahman because when Brahman, the causality for Brahman is eliminated, they are also eliminated. So that is the the, the, that is what, that is how to see it. Now it's going on very well, but then it, uh, some objections will come and then we'll look at it next week. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamibhavashishyate Om Shanti 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 
हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम थैंक यू